So I'm very, very thrilled today to have Pastor Augustine from Rwanda on the line. Uh, Pastor uh, Augustine, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Can you just tell us then, what is your church like and what is the community like that you live in? I'm a pastor, Miracle Center. Uh, the community, it is in the eastern province, Kayonza. And is the community a big community? Is it a very busy area or is it quite a rural area? What is it like? Uh, it's a rural area. Um, I've been serving as a pastor for almost uh, seven years. And what do you love about being a pastor? I'm so happy to be one of the servants of God. Mm. Wherever, whichever I do, I feel that I'm very blessed to be one of the servants. Since I was born, since um, I like to be a pastor. So when I'm serving, I feel that I'm proud of it. And so what has life been like for you in the last year during the COVID pandemic? How has it impacted your community? As you know, worldwide, COVID-19 was a big uh, pandemic. It was a pandemic almost to all of the human being, a region where there is a big number of people who are poor even, if I can say, but uh, it wasn't easy, by the way, in short, because our um, church members, Christians, we are locked down their families, others have lost their jobs, so you find it was not easy at all. It was a big challenge to all of the pastors, by the way. Churches were closed, so it was a big challenge to all of us, uh, more especially pastors, because you know a pastor, we get uh, the tens, the offertories, there was no way to get them. So you can see. So COVID has been a very big issue in the last year. But there's also been a bigger issue with climate change over the last number of years. COVID itself was a pandemic, but also we have uh, season changes. We have drought and uh, there is a rainy season. But in our region, because it is an eastern part of Rwanda, we usually face the challenge of drought because we have too much sunshine in our region, where some people, they can even lose what to eat, and now animals, they can't get water to drink, and even people, they can't uh, have even enough water. More, more the, the, the drought is a big challenge than even the rainy season. Even as well that the rainy season, also we have this uh, lot of wind that uh, can uh, destroy crops. It has been a challenge in some years where people, they, they, they starved, by the way, because of having no food. So some areas have faced that, that challenge. And how difficult is it to pastor a church when your community is facing such challenging things? Because having a Christian with, not, with uh, such a problems was uh, have no food and other problems in our, in our family. Because if in our region, people, they get money from uh, selling food, the, the foods, the crops that they have. So when it becomes to that problem of drought, you find they don't have anything. They have no food, they have no money. So it's a challenge to have that Christian in the church because one is hungry. There is a lot of problems which he cannot solve because of having no money. So you see it's a challenge for sure. And I guess my final question for you is, what are your hopes and your dreams for the future of your church and your community? I hope or I dream see a happy church. Yeah. Uh, pastoring uh, a church that is well equipped, uh, a church member who is happy, who can solve all the, the basic needs if the church member can is able to solve some basic needs, I can feel I've done something in our community. Thank you so much for sharing some of your story with us today. It's really helpful for us in the UK to reflect upon your story and to take that as a challenge for ourselves in the UK for how we can live differently as well. And we thank you that we are part of one big family in Christ. We're one big church in many different nations.